saw my meat rare. In fact, I ate the bacon straight from the pack. Make him shut up! Oh, for God's sake, shut up! Doc, do you think there's any way you can get any of the guys back on their feet by Sunday? That's less than 48 hours, Hayden. That's gonna be tough. Just do what you can to get as many guys ready for Sunday, all right? Okay, I'm not making any promises. Doc, if we can't get him well by Sunday, I think we should fire him. Bob, here's what I want you to do. Get as many guys that play football around here as you can. Listen, anybody, you know, old NFL guys, college guys, arena football players, Canadian football, anybody that's played football, can you get them here by Sunday? Oh, I'll get right on it in a minute. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Nothing. We'll take it from here. You've done just about everything you can. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what do you want from me? Even if it was my chicken wings that did it, how, how was that my fault? I didn't cook them. In fact, I thought they were a little overcooked. <laughs> I just tried to get a little team spirit here, some camaraderie, make the team feel like family. Well, you succeeded, Luth. They're all throwing up together. Well, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry I screwed up. It was an innocent mistake. Hell, anybody could have made it. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. If Buffalo Billy from Buffalo, New York offers me... Hayden Fox, coach of the Orlando Breakers, $500 worth of Buffalo Wings. When I'm about to play the Buffalo Bills, I say, hold it. What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Why is Buffalo Billy wanting to give me free food? Maybe he wants to hurt my team. But someone else looks at the same picture and says, ooh, 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 free food. <laughs> So what do you say? I am saying, Luth, if for just one second you thought of the team instead of yourself all the time, maybe you would have questioned Buffalo Billy's motives. But no, you always put yourself first. The team came here to play a football game. You, on the other hand, came here for chicken. How dare you say I put myself before the team? I got enough chicken for everybody, including you. But you didn't want any. And why didn't you want any? Because you don't want to be a part of this team. You're the one who separates yourself from everybody else, not me. Hey, I'm the good guy in this picture. Oh, Luther, you are so full of, of chicken. You don't know what you're talking about. You always put yourself first. I don't put myself first. I do not. You're the one who's moping around because you can't be with your family at Christmas. At least you have a family. I gave up a family for this team. Oh, how much chicken did you eat? <laughs> I'm getting the doctor back in here. It's gone to your little pea brain. Oh, no. I'm serious. I could have had a wife, a wife and a family, but I sacrificed. I put the team before myself. Luther, I have known you for 30 years. What woman did you leave behind for the good of the team? Well, that's just it. I didn't even get that far. <laughs> so, no, Hayden, I cannot tell you the name of the woman... But I can tell you the name of, of my children. <laughs> Sam, Sarah, and, and little Hayden Jr. Now, don't, before you get all emotional, they, they don't exist, thanks to you. God, I don't even know how to respond to this. You say you're sorry that you said I put myself before the team, when clearly I thought of nothing but the team my entire professional life. You, on the other hand, might want to do a little soul searching tonight. <laughs> I can't even have this conversation. I, I need some air. Just one little simple, Luther, please forgive me. How hard could it be? You, know, you can't do it for me. Do it for my family. It's Christmas. <laughs>